Hello friends, welcome to this lecture of graph theory. Friend, in this lecture we will discuss about the basic concepts of graph, its definition, its categories and types of graph. What is graph? Let us discuss that first. A graph say G B E is a non-linear data structure which consists of number one the set of finite vertices and the set of finite So, let us understand this thing with an example. Suppose we have this kind of graph where we have V set of vertices V1, V2, V3, V4 that is V set of vertices and it can be easily seen that we have finite set of vertices and Uh, you must make sure that all the vertices as a component of the set will always taken an in a lowercase character while the V or E set is there are taken at the uppercase character because it is a known fact that when we talk about the set a set is always represented in uppercase character while its elements are always considered as a lowercase character so E1, E2, E3 and E4. So we have a finite set of edges as E1, E2, E3, E4 as the edges as elements to the set E which are basically which is basically a finite set of edges. So one more thing that we have you have to uh, observe here is that a graph is basically a non-linear data structure that means it forms uh, it, it is it, it is basically discussed as one of the concept under data structure where we have uh, we have taught in one of our lecture in a data structure that a data structure is basically of two types one is linear and another is non-linear under the linear data structure, we had discussed in our, one of, in, in our lectures, in our previous lectures, uh, stack, queues, linked list, all these are considered as a linear data structure. But when we move to the non-linear data structure, we mean that uh, we have two of the concepts which are basically discussed under non-linear data structure, that is tree or graph. So, here we are discussing the concept of the graph theory as a non-linear data structure. So let us understand why we are calling graph a non-linear data structure. See, uh, when we say non-linear, that simply means that we are not following any particular order. So what is the basically difference between linear and non-linear? So linear and non-linear 
is basic uh, the concept these concepts are basically associated with the order in which we arrange the elements contained in these types of the data structure when we talk about linear data structure it means that we emphasize on the particular or you can say fixed order of elements while when we talk about nonlinear data structure we never emphasize on any particular or fixed order of elements in data structure so when we observe that if we talk about the concept of the stack queues linked list we can observe that the elements are basically stored in these of the data structure in a particular order so we call them as a linear data structure but when we talk about the concept of graph we find that there is no particular order of arranging these elements in the set p as we can say that we can also arrange this the, the elements of this set as p2 v1 v3 v4 v3 v2 v1 v4 and so on similarly we can also arrange the elements of the set e in any of the order so since there is no any particular order to arrange the elements of these cell hence we call graph as a non non linear data structure so that is all about the definition of the graph fine so let us understand what are the various categories of graph of graph there is basically two categories of graph number one directed graph and number two undirected graph so what basically the difference between the directed and undirected graph let us check that So, when we talk about the directed graph, it simply means that we have certain order to be followed while you can say uh, there are certain order to be followed by ordering vertices and edges in a graph so uh, do not uh, i think uh, we shouldn't distinguish uh, we shouldn't get confused with this definition by comparing it with the definition of the linear data structure let us check what exactly the directed graph later on for our example but before doing that let us check what is the difference uh, what is the definition of the undirected graph one so when we talk about undirected graph as compared to the directed graph where we have a certain order where we have 
certain order to be followed while ordering a uh, while uh, that is uh, I want to just erase this thing fine no problem so we have a certain order to be followed while <coughs> drawing while drawing vertices and edges in a graph fine say for example uh, let us check uh, this definition with an example if we consider this diagram where we have v1, v2, v3, v4 and when we say direct that means uh, sometimes we also call it vector we can also call it vector graph and when we talk about the vector it is very much clear that vector has certain sort of the direction or certain sort of the path so we will simply put some direction here suppose I am putting a direction as like this like this and uh, like this and like this fine okay uh, if I put this thing uh, something like that in this fashion or this thing is uh, okay fine no problem so we can says, uh, see, uh, we can also put the edges here, that is E1, E2, E3, and E4. So, if I say that, uh, how many paths are there to reach V1 to V4? Fine. Uh, understand the, my question that, what is the path between V1 and V4? So, we can simply say that if I have to, uh, move from vertex v1 to the vertex v4 what could be the possible possible path so we can say that by following the direction of the uh, uh, direction of the edges we, uh, uh, we can move to the v4 in, in, in this way that we have to first move to the edge e2 then we have to move to the edge e4 but so we have to follow this particular direction as e2 and e4 to reach the path v4 but and suppose if if <laughs> if i particularly move this edge suppose if if the direction of this edge is in, in direction rather than in this direction so we can see that there is only one path to reach v4 from v1 that is e1 and e4 but not e3 because it can be easily seen in this diagram that the direction of the edge E3 is towards V1. So there is no possibility to reach from V1 to V4 by following this edge. So we can, we can say that there is a certain order that we have to follow when we talk about a directed graph. But as in comparison to the directed graph, if I consider an undirected graph, what we can see that here we don't have any particular order to be followed while drawing vertices and edges in a graph. So we can simply see uh, the definition of the undirected graph and it becomes clear that we don't have any particular order to be followed while drawing vertices and edges in a graph. Let us understand this thing with an example. So if we consider an example of undirected graph, we will observe that if we consider the same graph in this manner, but we will not put any direction in this graph. That is V1, V2, V3, V4, and the edges as E1, edges as E1, E2, E3, E4. So we will not put any direction here. And when we do that, what we can observe that if I have to reach V4 from the uh, from the vertex V1, there is no particular order to do the, to do so. 
we can uh, move from V1 to V4 after following two of the paths. One is E1, E4 and another is E3 which is a direct path towards uh, which is a direct path between V1 and V4. So it can be easily observed that since there is no particular path in this graph to travel between two vertices, we can say that this kind of the graph is basically an undirected graph. But when we compare this thing with a directed graph, we can observe that there is only one path to be followed when we have such kind of the graph in order to reach from V1 to V4. If I want to uh, act in similar way to have two of the paths for uh, two of the paths between the two vertices, what I can do here that I simply change the direction of this edge. Fine. In order to reach V1 uh, from V1 to V4, I have to change the direction of this edge in order to obtain this thing here. But still, we can find that there is a particular order that we have to follow. Fine. Fine, but here there is no particular order, there is no direction to be followed while drawing a graph. Fine, so that is a basic idea between a directed graph and undirected graph. So, the co important concepts that arise from the understanding of these categories of graph are the topics of degree, uh, a topic, a topics, a topic of degree. Fine, so what is basically the degree? Degree is the <coughs> basically number of the vertex which are uh, which are meeting at a particular vertex fine uh, just listen it carefully that when we talk about the degree of a graph degree of a graph simply means that when number of uh, uh, how many number of edges are going to meet at a particular vertex is basically known as degree of a graph so let us understand the concept of a degree uh, uh, in brief uh, uh, in brief, uh, at this moment, just see that what is basically the degree of the graph. How is important the understanding of the directed and undirected graph to make sure the concept of the degree of the graph. Let us check that. So the important concept that we have to understand is the degree of a graph. So what particularly this mean? So degree of graph means means the number of edges meeting at a vertex of a graph. Fine. So it means the number of edges which are going to be made at a particular vertex of a graph. I can change this definition that it means the number of edges that are going to be that are going to be met that are going to be met at a vertex at a particular vertex of a graph at a particular vertex of a graph Fine. so suppose if I uh, draw the same graph here or if I can draw uh, any of the graphs suppose if I'm drawing a graph something like that so we can simply observe that what is the degree of vertex v1? What is the degree of v1 for this undirected graph? See, uh, this kind of the graph is basically the undirected graph. So in this indirected graph, if someone asks us, what is the degree of v1? So we can see that uh, we have to check how many edges are going to be mean, how uh, to be met at particular vertex of this graph. So at v1, we can see that uh, we can see that there are 
four of the edges which, which are going to meet at V1 that is E1, E4, E3 and E2 that means the degree of vertex V1 is 4. Similarly, if we can, uh, uh, we can see that the degree of V2 is 1. Why? Because there is only one uh, edge that is going to be me at uh, this vertex. So that is only E2 is going to, uh, you can say, uh, incident, that is going to be incident at V2. Fine? Fine? Uh, once again, if I talk about degree of V3, so how many edges are going to be incident at V3? That is E1 and E5. That means degree as 2. Similarly, I can also check for the degree of V4, which is basically 2. Because there are two edges which are incident to this vertex, that is E4 and E5. And finally, if I check the degree of vertex V5, sorry, V5 we have done, V2 we have done, uh, V1 we have done, V4 we have done, that means 1, 2, 3, 4. And we are missing something that is uh, V1. We are missing V3. Fine. So we can check that at V3, at V3 there are two edges which are incident at the vertex V3. So we have also done here that is V1, V2, V3, V4. We have done V5. Fine. So when we check about talk about the V5, there is only one edge E3. That means the degree of vertex V5 is one. So we can define the degree of a graph in this manner also that the degree of a graph, a degree of a vertex, we basically know it is not the degree of a graph, uh, sorry for that, it is not the degree of a graph, it is basically the degree of a vertex. And when we say the degree of a vertex, we, have, we mean that how many edges are incident at a particular vertex of a graph, that is basically known as the degree of a vertex. So I want to uh, change this definition. Uh, we can modify this definition as we can modify this def definition as the number of edges which are incident at a particular vertex of a graph is known as degree of a vertex. Fine? I think that is the perfect definition. So when we say degree of a vertex, it simply means the number of edges which are incident at a particular vertex of a graph is known as a degree of a vertex. So that is what the degree of vertex is. Fine. Now, one more thing is that uh, this degree of a vertex can be of two types when we move to the directed graph. So, if I change this graph, this uh, undirected graph, into a directed graph, what would be the change here? So, if I change the direction something like that. So, if I change, if I change the undirected graph that we had earlier seen into a directed graph, what could be the change here? So, the change which can be observed is that that the degree of vertex now gets get divided into two of the further concept that is in degree and out degree. In degree means number of edges in going or you can say number of edges, num number of incoming edges 
at a particular voltage. One, there is a number of incoming edges at a particular vortex. And when I say out degree, that simply means number of outgoing edges at a particular vortex. So it is very simple to understand that when we talk about in degree, it means number of incoming edges. So if I say, if I, if I have to check here, uh, what is, uh, and we can also uh, represent uh, in degree as V plus and out degree as V minus, right? So just uh, keep uh, uh, this thing in your mind that when we say the in degree, we can, uh, we can have the convention to represent it as V plus and for out degree, we can represent the out degree as V minus. So when I say, uh, what is the in degree of V1? Suppose what is the in degree of V1? We can represent it, so it something like that. V1 plus, that means number of edges, number of incoming edges towards vortex V1. So we can see that there is only one edge which is coming towards vortex V1. That is E2. So the in degree of V1 would be 1. Fine? And if I say, what would be the out degree of vertex V1. That means number of edges outgoing from vertex V1. So V1 minus would be. So what are the edges which are outgoing from the vertex V1? We can uh, simply observe that that E1, E4, and E3. That is E1, E4, and E3. These three edges are outgoing from this vertex. That means it. Uh, these edges are constituting the out degree of vertex V1. That means out degree of V1 would be 3. Similarly, I can check for this thing for other vertex also. Suppose if I take the example of V4. So what would be the in degree of V4? So the in degree of V4 would be E4 and E5. That is and what would be the out degree of V4? So we can check there is no out degree for V4. So it is 0. But so it is very easy to define the degree of a vertex for a categorized graph and the in degree and out degree for uh, for directed graph. Fine. So keep remembering that keep remember that. Always remember that when we talk about the degree of a vertex, we consider the degree of a vertex in a undirected graph. And when we talk about the directed graph, we call that degree of vertex as either in degree or out degree. So this is all about the graph definition, categories of graph that we have covered in this lecture. We will talk about the concept of uh, uh, the concept of types of graph in our next lecture. So let us move. Uh, we, let us move in our next lecture. Thank you.